Hey everybody, I'm going to turn the camera away from myself as I record my thoughts here because it seems somehow apropos not to see me, not to see my face as I discuss the things I'm going to discuss. Because what I'm going to discuss is the lack of trust that is out there, that is permeating the public, that, that permeates just about every institution. And uh, um, so it's more apropos to look upon a dark road as, uh, as I speak these words than to see, look into my beautiful face. Um, what made me start to consider this in a macro sense was, the, of course, the story that I covered earlier today, how last night's game, the NFL uh, AFC championship game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cincinnati Bengals, uh, how it was so it was officiated so poorly uh, in the assessments of of many uh, that, uh, and in a way that seemed to clearly favor the Kansas City Chiefs. And there was, you know, I I, I talked about this in my earlier video. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into the details about it again. But there are more more details than even I discussed um, in that earlier video. And if you're interested, there's plenty of places to go. Just just type in uh, rigged NFL if that's uh, something that interests you and you'll find this is, this is being talked about it was trending today um, NFL rigged that's not a good thing for the NFL um, if, if people just think if people really do think that it is rigged and this is not just a, a uh, you know a, 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 something that can be dismissed as a fringe uh, element of, uh, of the, the fandom but this is something that's, if it's something that's going more mainstream, then that's not a good thing um, for the NFL, clearly. Um, what, what, and of course, at the NFL, it's just a sport, right? Who cares? It's just sports ball. It's just bread and circuses. But I'm thinking of things in a more uh, macro sense here. I'm, uh, I'm thinking that if you were to survey the average American in the 1940s, the 1950s, maybe even into the 1960s. Um, you know, maybe even up to the mid-1960s. And you ask them, how uh, do you trust the government? Do you trust the media? Do you trust uh, Congress? Do you trust the president? You know, um, do you think they, they, they're looking out for your best interests? Do you think they have integrity? That kind of thing. In the past, you know, and really, you know, in some ways not that long ago, there, there are people living today who were alive during the 40s, 50s, and 60s, obviously. Um, and uh, at that time, I'm, I'm just guessing that the vast majority would say yes, unreservedly. Yes, I trust the government. Yes, I trust the media. Yes, I trust the president. Uh, yes, I trust the institutions that, you know, I, I think they're, they, they want to do what's right by, by the American citizenry and they're looking out for me. Um, you, you'd ha you'll have some people who, who uh, don't trust it, but I think they would be a small minority. That's almost been flipped on its head now. That's one of the only good developments, by the way, in, in the last 70 years. <laughs> You know, there's been a lot of terrible, the, the culture has just gotten so awful uh, in so many ways, on so many levels. But one thing that I would say is, is better is the fact that people don't trust the institutions uh, that, uh, that claim dominion over their lives. Because uh, I don't think these institutions ever cared for us, or ever looked out for our best interests. I think in the past they they uh, gave a better, uh, uh, you know, gave off a a, 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 a uh, an impression that they were looking out for our best interests. But I don't think I think these have always been self-interested uh, groups, and uh, you know that they. See us as, as essentially pawns or, or uh, cattle to be 
fed or or to be uh, slaughtered you know uh, whatever suits them at a particular time so so now this this uh, distrust in the media distrust in the government distrust in the institutions of government you know in, in pol politicians and congressmen and presidents uh, uh, now you don't trust the NFL either now you don't trust professional sports either you know it used to be sports if, if sports are, are meant to serve the 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 bread and circuses uh, uh, you know if they're meant to serve as that purpose then people need to believe in them to believe that they are fair because if, if people just think you know they're being bullshitted that, 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 that really you know they it's all we think that this is just just uh, uh, you know a in a contest that is being uh, you know it's it's like whoever wins wins and, and the referees just aren't told or, or aren't made to favor one team or another and the league there's despite all the money changing hands in Vegas and elsewhere you know there's no uh, there's never any any instance where or rarely ever is there an instance where people are uh, are um, you know uh, gonna throw a game or, or gonna you know like like the 1919 World Series the Black Sox scandal that was just a the exception that proves the rule that there's that there's generally integrity in professional sports um, but now that seems to have gone out the window or or you know maybe I'm overreacting maybe maybe this is just there's a, bit, a lot of hubbub about it now and it's gonna just go away once once everybody moves on to something else you know like they do in this in this um, uh, small attention span culture we've got going on right now this 24-hour news cycle everything's breaking news breaking news breaking news you know, it just it just gets so tiring and makes me want to go full Kaczynski mode. Not not the terrorist part, but the living living uh, totally away from society part. I want to make that clear. Um, but anyhow, I, I think that you know at least right now there is this very interesting palpable sense. You know, I've had people, I've seen people on the internet, and I've had people tell me. Uh, you know that I'm that I'm connected with online. That they 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 think that, that game was was uh, was thrown last night. They think that the 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 league wanted the Chiefs to win, and uh, they made sure that they that that happened. <clears throat> and of course, there are people arguing back the other way. But the the point is, it doesn't seem like it's just a fringe element anymore. Uh, that's talking about games being thrown and uh, you know uh, uh, lack of integrity and and uh, the whole and the whole notion of the league being rigged. It seems like this is paradigmatic of a larger trend of distrust, and I just wanted to talk about that and, and put it in context, put it in greater context. Anyhow, thanks for watching these dark streets with me, and uh, leave your comment below.